To me, the human body is very beautiful. It's a landscape. To see people creating great stress on their body and putting their bodies in different planes and angles is something that I really relate to and what I try and capture. There's always a great connection if you're, you're trying to capture that as an essence within a sculpture. I like the foundry process. I like process. I like casting metal. When you heat something to a few thousand degrees and pour molten metal, it's very exciting. It's almost primordial and back to the elements of the earth. When you see molten metal, it's not unlike lava flowing. That risk, though, is part of the excitement, but eventually when you cast it and you look at it and you think, well, I was able to achieve an amazing form. This group of sculptures at Musgreen are technically very advanced and demanding. They're cast in high chromium stainless steel, and to cast stainless steel you need exceptionally high temperatures. To get metal to flow, it requires very advanced skills, and to try and get metal to look fluid and to be in a form that's the antithesis of heavy metal and in very open space, that's the great achievement of these sculptures. Come to the Edge is a group of words that comes from a poem that I read in 1969. It's about taking risk and it's about pushing boundaries, which these uh, forms do. So I suppose those words come to the edge and pushing something and it flies is, is what these sculptures are about. For me, sculpture is about creating a form that that conveys a message. And so these sculptures are about space, playing with time and space. I think all of these sculptures are light and flying. And the idea beha behind these forms is that they're not grounded by weight and gravity, and they have motion within. The sculpture titled Motion embodies movement you can walk around this form and see it move from within. There was a great performance here to launch the exhibition, which was the Australian Ballet School. You could see a likeness between their movement and the movement within the sculpture. As an artist, you burn up with passion, and what's here is the latest manifestation of that drive to push the boundaries and create something new and different and portray a message that hasn't been seen before.